So you want to see how our cherry saplings are getting on. Well, here's a quick update. I'll show you how they're doing. I'll show you some lessons that I've learned as well when growing cherries from seed, some mistakes that I've made. Show you how to avoid that and share with you as a result some disappointing news. So what do you want? You want the good news first or do you want the bad news? I'll tell you what, I'll give you the bad news first. That way the good news can be like a soothing balm that'll heal your wounded hearts. I don't care what you say, it's tremendously sad. I lost two of my cherry saplings. We learnt a good lesson from it though, but it could have just been that they were weak root stocks. They got the root rot. Uh, cherries like really well drained soil. The compost potting soil that I've been using, I don't think it was giving it enough drainage. It was compacting quite a bit. And they started growing lovely this spring started sprouting all new leaves and then as soon as the warm weather came the leaves just withered shriveled up and died and i did my best i tried to repot them blasted off all the old soil i've gave them a really nice well-drained citrus mix for mediterranean plants that stays more light and very well drained but i read online once your plants got root rot, once your cherries have got root rot, there's not much you can do about it. I did my best to try and save them. I don't think at this point they'll be coming back. It could have just been a mixture of bad genetics and bad conditions. I've got the other cherries still going. That's the bit of good news. That'll heal your wounded hearts. They're doing quite good. I've put them into bigger pots and I've put well-drained this uh, Mediterranean mix around the outside and they're doing pretty good. So maybe these just, just won't up to the task. Uh, that's what happens when you grow plants from seed. You know, it's a, a roulette wheel of genetics. Uh, you might get a vigorous grower. These were really vigorous. They were, they were looking fantastic, but the roots want as good they want um, as disease resistant so um, it's just how the cookie crumbles what can you do cherries like i've mentioned many times in the comments they don't grow true to seed you do get some cherries that grow pretty true but most of the time when you plant a cherry from the um, supermarket you'll be getting a wild cherry tree and that could exhibit hundreds of different qualities from its parentage. It could be a really good tree if you're lucky. Most likely it'll be a wild tree that produces sour little cherries and in some cases the cherries might not root well, they might not be good growers, it might be a poor grower. You, you might be lucky, you might get a really good grower. So um, that's just the risk you take, but it's a lot of fun growing stuff from seed and um, I highly recommend it. And, well, I'll show you the ones who are doing well now. Let's, let's get these out of our sight so the sadness doesn't overwhelm us. And here are two cherries that are doing really well. Loads of growth this spring. Look, um, all this is new, it's just shot up. Some green fly on this one. Little green fly. Have to give it a squirt off some neem oil later but they're doing really well. I'm not gonna prune these cherries back this year. I'm gonna wait till next year about spring, end of spring, start of summer. We'll give them a little bit of a careful cut back. And I'm considering still what to do. Maybe, maybe next year we can start trying to graft maybe one of these plants or both of them. Let me know what you guys think. Maybe I'll let you guys make the decision. With grafting, we're gonna guarantee a productive plant what produces great cherries. So we'll have a seed grown root stock. These cherries are doing good. They survived the root rot even in the same conditions as the others. So, so that's a really good sign. We can graft these and guarantee a good fruit and that'll be fun 
to do together. So I'm, I'm really up for it. But then we're never going to see what kind of fruits these might produce. And they're going to probably be a little sour cherries, but it would be really nice to see what fruit they produce one day. So maybe, maybe we could keep one growing uh, natural, maybe graft the other one. Let me know what you guys think. I'll, I'll let you guys make the decision in the comments and, and whatever you think will go with it. So they're doing really good, getting some nice stems built up and um, let's hope this year they'll do well. I repotted these, just um, kept them in the same soil that they were in, but packed it out with that nice well-drained uh, Mediterranean soil. And I'm just trying to keep them so they don't get too wet. They're doing pretty good, really good. I mean, they were fine before, but I didn't want to risk these getting the root rot as well uh oof, that would be a disaster i'd have no cherries left got some little cherries growing that are coming back this year as well growing little leaves and that and these are my two main plants the other two and i think a few months ago or last year we lost one or two because of the the water problem here so um oh man it would have been a disaster if i didn't have nothing to show for it after all that time really grateful that these ones are doing well Got to give them a little spray. Aphids are doing my nutting recently, getting onto my lemon tree, my lime tree on the new growth, curling the leaves up. The ants keep putting them there and this place where we live, plagued with ants, ants everywhere, does my head in. So I recommend when you're growing your cherries from seed, don't just plant one seed, grow a few. Get a few growing, pick the best tree that grows, the most vigorous and healthy trees. The ones that are struggling, limping along and die easy, just kind of think of that as nature doing its thing, weeding out the weaklings, even though it's gonna hurt <laughs> when you love your plants and, and you watch them grow from a little seed and then they get to that stage and then they die, it can be really disappointing, but try and keep a positive attitude and think this is this is it you know this is horticulture every horticulturist everyone who loves gardening and plants has to deal with plant loss you know so don't worry about it grow plenty of seeds pick the best ones let nature do the rest and hopefully next year we can get to grafting one of these plants or both of them let me know what you think so that's the update little short update i'm going to try and get back to making plenty of videos now my hands getting a lot better maybe we talk about that and what happened with my uh, incompetence with my knife um because i don't want this uh, i don't want that little story to hijack this video um so yeah feeling almost back to normal with this hand which is really good it was a bit of a, a pain it's amazing how much you need two hands, man. You, you start trying to do things, making a cup of coffee or a tea with one hand. You can't even open a bottle of water. But maybe I'll talk about that in another video if you're, if you're interested. <laughs> I don't know if it's that interesting. So guys, thanks for watching. Hit that like button and hit that subscribe button if you've not subscribed already. Uh, we want to grow this community and you guys can help out tremendously with that by sharing this content with your friends on your social media media channels uh, it's the best support that i can receive i couldn't ask you for anything else uh, that would be really awesome huge favor for the channel and if you want to connect further you can follow me on twitter join our discord server for gardening the links will be in the description we're trying to grow that little server where we can talk about gardening share photos ask gardening related questions or talk about your favorite tv show if it's family friendly we want none of that dodgy stuff on our Discord family-friendly channel. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time.